I'm so excited I just barely got one of these Flip Pal mobile scanners and I just love it. I've gotten out all my old photos that have been locked away in the closet that nobody ever sees and I've started to scan them and turn them into digital photos that I can digitally scrap or put in a digital frame so that everybody can see them when they come to my house. I just love this scanner. You can take it with you. It doesn't have to be hooked to a computer and you can also take the top off so that you can scan it right in a photo album. Which which makes it really great for me because I'm a busy person and the only time I really have to scan is in the evenings when I'm watching TV. Already I've scanned so many albums I'm so excited and the quality has been really great. However with this scanner and every scanner there are some photo edits that you might want to make and we're going to show you in this video some of the ones that you might want to consider. So just take out your memory card and put your photos in your computer and let's get started. Now that I've scanned my photos and put them on my computer, I navigate to the folder where I keep my new, newly scanned photos. Now these photos are digital. I can do a lot of fun things with them, but already I can see that just because I scanned them, they still need some improvement. Um, for example, um, some of them are not rotated correctly, like see this one, and some are even completely upside down like this one or this one. Once I've scanned my photos, the first thing that I really need to do is make a duplicate copy so nothing's ruined. And one way to do it is to bring it into a graphic program. This happens to be Photoshop Elements, but other programs like Photoshop or other graphic programs can make a duplicate copy. You bring the original in and you can make the uh, copy right here. The only thing that's different between these two photos is really just the name. I have the word copy in this name and I don't in this one. They're both exactly the same except for this one is now a copy and I can feel confident if I make photo edits that I don't like or if the technology improves to enhance my photo that this original photo that I originally scanned is safe. One of the neat things about Photoshop Elements or Photoshop is that it can go ahead and go into your folder and take all of the images that you just scanned and create a second duplicate photo automatically. All you have to do is turn on some settings and it can do it. Let me bring up this folder. Um, it's probably a good idea to put your copied one in a different folder, but just to show you something else that's good to do when you make a copy. For example, Photoshop Elements can take this scan photo and you can see the size there. It's not as uh, high as um, I'd like it. Um, sometimes there's setting in, settings in the scanner to bump that up and that's nice, but you can also, once it's scanned at whatever resolution, Photoshop Elements or Photoshop can take the photo and while it's making a copy, it can bump up the, it can analyze the photo and make it a better quality one. Why do we care about that? Because when I send it out to a printer, it can print this particular photo in a better quality than it can um, print this one. And in addition, if I use this for digital scrapbooking, um, it also makes it a better quality one. So that's one of the reasons why we want to do that. One of the things that's nice about a graphics program is if you scanned your photo in at a direction, say like this, it's easy to go ahead and correct it, um, making a first photo edit so that it's in a normal viewing direction. Let's go ahead and take a look at this one. Um, sometimes the way that they're in photo albums or the way that um, it's just easier for your scanner to get it, or sometimes I accidentally put them in the wrong direction. Um, they're scanned like this, but not to fear. We can easily, in a graphic program, put them in the right direction like this. And that's step two. After I've taken my scanned photo and I've rotated it in the correct viewing direction, I might want to take a look and see if it's crooked or straight. This one, you can tell, look at this side. It, there's a little bit over here, but there's a lot over here. The top the same way, a little here, but a lot here. That means that this photo is crooked. Now, I could take a lot of time at my scanner and try to get this in just precisely right. However, why waste the time when a graphic program like Photoshop or Photoshop Elements can, with a simple tool, take it from a crooked photo to a straightened photo? 
here's the photo after I use that tool. You can see it's much straighter. Now there is some excess around the edges that is part of the scanned photo album, but with a crop tool, which I'll be sh talking about next, we'll take this out. But you can see that the bottom is way straighter. So now this photo has been straightened easily in a graphic program. Okay, so now I have cropped this in my graphic program, and you can see that it's gotten rid of all the excess uh, parts of the, the album. So it's not only straight, but now it's ready to digitally scrap or make some other photo edits. This is particularly handy when you have a, a photo that, for some reason, it's gotten a little bit of the extra um, part of the scan in it. Like this one, you can change from this to this which makes it great and also you can use a crop tool which is a really great edit particularly say you're going to use it for a genealogy project and you just need the the face or some part of it or you want to actually crop parts out that you don't really want to use this is the next photo edit step that you would take remember we're always keeping the original safe and not um, changed another thing to consider when you're scanning is sometimes you can scan several photos at once and this really saves a lot of time. However, um, you could manually come in here and crop these, but one of the neat things about a graphic program like Photoshop Elements is that it has an automatic thing to take this scan photo and turn it into three different um, or however many photos that you have to separate them into their own photos. So that's a big plus and saves lots of time in scanning so that you can just scan a lot of photos together and then go ahead and have your graphic program like Photoshop Elements go ahead and separate them into individual photos. Another thing that you'd want to do with the original is do some photo edits that could fix it. One of the things that you can see that Photoshop Elements can do is see this part where the photo got stuck to another photo or a part of the album and when it was taken out it got damaged. Look over here. You can do simple photo edits such as that. Also, let me zoom in closer. Okay, take a look at these two photos. The original had red eye. This was really before we had Photoshop and we really couldn't correct the red eye. Now I can take this same photo, even though the photo is grainy and old and not the most perfect photo, I can improve it by going ahead and taking the red eye out of it. And you can see, um, let me go ahead and click on this. You can see that the photo is so much better than the original scanned photo and it's way better than even the original photo that was in the album. Okay, here's another one. This particular photo had, it was a time when there wasn't Photoshop, so you can see that there's acne all over the face. Let me go ahead and move in here. Acne all over the face of this person. And in those days, you just really couldn't correct it. So even though the, the photo in the photo album is not too bad of a photo, it has these blemishes. One of the things that you can do now that it's digital is you can take those out and maybe some of the freckles. Another thing is sometimes in the scanning process, um, there are like dust particles. See this one right here? You can go ahead and take those out of the photo. Maybe there's some other scanning imperfections that you can take out. These are all the things that you can do in your graphic program, and now your particular photo turns out to be so much better than the original ones. Once I've taken my old photos and scanned them, there's so many things that I can do with them. I can use them for genealogy, I can save them and back them out, share them, and I can do digital scrapbooking. Remember the scanned photos that we scanned together to save time? And then we turned them into three separate photos and we maybe even did some other photo edits. Now I can take them and turn them into a wonderful digital scrapbooking page that I can either have printed out or I can turn it into a digital album, or I can turn it into an apron, a mouse pad. Really, the sky's the limit. Once my photos are digital, I can use them in so many different ways. We hope that this video encourages you to take your precious photos, scan them, and make some photo edits. And if you want to really learn about making some of those basic photo edits that we talked about today, come to Digital Scrapbooks and More Scrap Shop because we have training for digital scrapbooking and photo editing 
and digital scrapbooking supplies. Click on our photo edit button and follow us to our photo editing tutorials. We have lots of different kinds of training to uh, enhance your photos, but we also have training that specifically for those of you that have scanned your photos because some of those photo fixes are a little different than just normal digital uh, photos. So these, this training talks about all the things that we've already discussed in this video and shows you step by step how to make those changes. So I hope you'll um, take a look at this training. Thank you.